A U.S. source has reported that Harry has gotten himself into some trouble, and now he is facing rising hostility in the U.S. The source said he's landed in trouble for betraying his family who tolerated and covered up his disgusting party boy drug and alcohol antics, so he'd be seen as just a fun-loving younger brother. While Americans don't have royals, they do have a strong belief in family loyalty. They built a new life depending on the blood ties that bound them to one another. The more Harry trashed his family, the less they respected his personal ethics. The more he flaunted his luxury lifestyle of private jets, grandiose mansion, guzzling vehicles, endless designer clothing, personal photographers on staff, and hair and makeup teams, the less they believed he was an environmentalist or a humanitarian. His words simply did not match his behavior, so he really blew his cover in a country where straight talking is appreciated. Harry is no longer just the guy looking for freedom to make his own way in life. Instead, he is seen as the whiner trying to blackmail his own family to provide him with a lifetime of money that he did not earn. And that is simply not the American way. Many people in the U.S., when they first heard all the lies, they didn't realize that these were lies. Now, in the U.K., people understand U.K. law, and they have lived through Harry's antics since he was a teen. So people in the U.K. knew many of the things that were whined about were simply not true. It did take people in the U.S. a little bit longer, though, to catch up with the people of the U.K. The fact that he and Meghan are pathological liars certainly didn't help matters either. When Harry enthusiastically announced that mind-altering drugs were the best way for him to deal with his mental health problems, he alienated more than just Americans. Harry is an entitled psychopath, and he has no moral compass whatsoever. Harry does not seem to understand, though, that in America, people value hard work, self-reliance, and independence. But honorable, real, meaningful work, not just self-praise and hypocrisy. Harry would not know the first thing about those characteristics, and Meghan obviously doesn't have them either. Harry's book has proven to be a very bad idea. Not only does his book make him seem incredibly entitled, but it's also making him ridiculed all over the world. Now, there is a question about his visa to the U.S. All of those details about Harry's drug abuse has raised some pretty important questions about whether or not he was truthful on his visa application when he moved to the U.S. In case you all hadn't noticed yet, Harry is an absolute idiot. I mean, who in their right mind is going to brag about killing Taliban soldiers? Who is going to brag about using illegal substances? And in general, just making a complete fool of himself? Apparently, he and Meghan are persona non grata in their neighborhood, and there are people calling for his visa to be canceled. The truth is, Harry is a complete waste of oxygen. In other news, Harry and Meghan have already discussed their problems with literally everybody in the world, whether we wanted them to or not. Most of us didn't even care to know all those details. I mean, frozen penises and using his mother's face cream on it, that's so disturbing. Can they say anything more? Well, I guess they could. But does Charles or anybody else even care anymore? Well, absolutely not. We are done with them. They've just reminded us over and over again about their complaints, and we're sick of hearing the complaints. Now, I'm sure there was a time when Harry and Meghan could have stated their issues plainly to the king, and they could have sought out these private conversations that they claim they want. But that time has passed. They've already written everything, they've said everything, they've used their reality show for it, they've blogged, they've tweeted, they've trolled, they've pushed lawsuits, and they have saturated the world with their issues. We're tired of their issues. But as long as there's somebody out there who's willing to pay them some money to give them some attention or give them some kind of woke award, they're going to keep on whining and lying and doing anything they can to keep themselves in the tabloids. The truth is, nobody can solve their issues. I'm afraid that Harry has sunk way too low now, and nothing is ever going to be enough to make Meghan happy. And in my view, their issue is that they are overexposed, they're overprivileged, they're work shy, they're woke, they're racist, they're self-aggrandizing, and they are pathetic. And they're angry that they're not on the same level as William and Catherine. They are completely mental. How is Charles supposed to fix their little problems? I mean, Harry and Meghan had a great fall, and nobody can fix that level of stupidity that they're suffering from. And as to why they have supposedly been invited to the coronation, well, we can only guess. 
I understand that Charles is loving, but perhaps he is blind to some of Harry's worst antics. Maybe he's just trying to reach out to him. Maybe this was a shrewd decision by the palace, or maybe it's just a publicity stunt. Who knows? But what we do know is that this should be a time to focus on the new king and queen to celebrate them after the sadness of losing the late queen. Charles has been waiting and training for this moment for such a long time. He has waited his entire life to assume the destiny that would only come when he lost the mother he so loved. And Camilla, she has had an incredibly rough time of things. She did so much just to be with the man who she loves and to earn respect after bearing the brunt of the blame for the breakdown of the marriage between Charles and Diana, and especially after Diana's tragic and untimely death. And of course, I do not support adultery, but Camilla was not responsible for everybody's behavior, and Diana famously said there were three people in the marriage, so all three people should be held accountable. It is so cruel and childish for Harry to rake up all the muck and cause so much pain for everybody. But of course, one of their big issues is that the loss of Diana belongs only to Harry and Meghan that wannabe. Nobody else matters to them. We can see that Harry and Meghan don't show any ability or desire to empathize with or understand anybody else's feelings. They just focus on their own feelings. Apparently, Harry does not even want to deal with his own feelings, though, because he just uses and he advocates for other people to use these harmful, illegal drugs. Megan also shows that she's got a very disturbing need for power and attention that is so overpowering she is willing to switch between races, she's willing to insult entire races, cultures, and countries, and then she tries to destroy the royal family by appropriating the real racism and oppression of others and accusing the royal family of perpetrating it against her. If Megan cannot be queen, then I guess nobody else is going to get to wear the crown and have a moment's peace from her. If they dare to show up the coronation, I'm guessing they're going to try to call some other scene. At a minimum, they're going to mooch off the connection with this important event to try to enhance their own profiles. But it's not going to help. Their popularity has already sunk so low, there is no way for them to come back. And let's remember that Charles has many people there to support him. He has seasoned royal advisors helping him. Whatever he's doing, I'm sure he has discussed that and been advised before acting. And I'm sure that he's getting some great advice from his wife, too. He's getting advice from the Princess Royal and the Prince and Princess of Wales as well. The truth is, they have all been playing this royal game a lot longer than Harry and Meghan have. Also, the royals opened their game with the Queen's Gambit. Harry can brag about all the pawns that he has supposedly taken out, but Harry never, even with Meghan's cunning and scheming, managed to take out the Queen. The truth is, only God could do that. So if I had to bet, I would bet the royals are going to win the long game. Harry and Meghan have already demonstrated that they are irrelevant, they are irreverent, they're jealous, they're petty, they're classless, clueless, they're entitled, racist, and they are so dishonest. If they condescend to show up, they are going to be protected and, at best, ignored. Maybe, though, everybody will get lucky in this situation and they'll just stay at home in Montecito.